Welcome back, my friends, the show that never ends, Final Cut. Before we get into review a palooza where I'll cover the films from the Madison Horror Film Festival, I want to talk to you today about this low-budget film I saw. It's from Japan. It's called Attack, Girl Swim Team vs. The Undead, uh, among many other titles uh, that this film goes under, including Undead Pool, which almost sounds like the next Clint Eastwood uh, Dirty Harry film. Anyway, <laughs> uh, we've got a girl named Akira who comes to school. She's the new girl in school. It's the first week and all. She's kind of quiet, kind of reserved, seems to have some dark past to her. Well, the girls want to get her involved, and so when one of the girls on the girls' swim team gets beat up, uh, she ends up asked to be become part of the team. Meanwhile, the school is getting infected by a vaccine for a virus, and but the vaccine's actually a virus, and it turns all these people in the high school into these zombie-like beings that go around eating other students and uh, chopping off their heads and such. It, brutal and gruesome, okay? And so it's up to the girls' swim team who's immune to the vaccine virus uh, to help clear out their school. Folks, this movie was a B-horror film written all over it. Proof that low-budget, no-budget cinema is rampant throughout the world and not just held to the states. Now, that doesn't make the mean this film is totally horrible. It is watchable, especially for the B-horror fan. I mean, you got your elements in there. You've got gore, okay, you got cheesy acting, and you got gratuitous TNA. And uh, gore and... A, again, TNA. So, you know, you've got the elements that you look for in a B-horror film. But the script is really all over the place on this. They have some great ideas, but they don't really carry them throughout. Or, or you know, they, they show these ideas, poof, just for a minute, and then it's over. You know, it, it just, you know, it's just that quick. And so it was kind of disappointing in that respect. Now, the performers do really well with the the uh, script that they have. And the one zombie teacher I really loved who's wielding these metal blades, oh, he's hilarious thinking people's heads were apples. I loved that bit. There's, And that's what this film has. Lots of bits to it. Gory scenes, humorous scenes, you know, scenes that just would make you go, oh my god. And then, of course, there's some lesbian interludes. So, uh, <laughs> some intimate moments between the girls. Hey, you know, they've got a bond to be a team, right? Anyway, it's, it's, it's everything you expect from a B-horror film, okay? And nothing really new here, uh, though I did like their explanation for why the girl swim team was immune. I did like that bit. And, uh, you know, they built... Uh, another disappointing part, though, was, it, was they built up the girl swim team. And guess what? The girl swim team ate a bunch of fighters, okay? <laughs> Big surprise there, right? Uh, with a twist ending and some surprises in there, this ends up being just your average fair B-horror film, okay? So if you're really into the genre, you may want to check it out. Uh, you know, it's got some very great moments into it, but those moments don't build up enough for it to be a great classic B-cult horror film. It just is your standard average B-horror fair. I had to give it Two and a half stubs on this one, folks. It's just middle of the road again. Had that potential, didn't quite get there, but still entertaining for those who like this genre. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, keep that to you.